This is not what the average person does. And that is a part of what makes you great. Good morning. Welcome back. It's good to see you guys again. It is a hot, hot day out here today. Very hot, very humid. And I have a feeling that uh, the midday run that I attempted to do yesterday is not going to be possible at all today. I attempted to run yesterday at about noon, a little before noon, and um, it was, um, yeah, it was definitely way too warm to be running outside, especially when it's that hot. When it's cooler, you know, when it's like 70, I can deal with that. Um, I could even deal with a good 75, but yesterday it was 90 something. It wasn't smart. You know, it was not smart at all. Ended up only doing about two and a half miles, maybe 20 minutes or so, something like that. Pace was a little bit slower, obviously, but I just was not, uh, it was not good to be running in that heat, and it was still fairly humid at that hour too. Although by the midday, the humidity usually drops. Unlike right now, it is currently 85 degrees inside the gym. I got the fan running. Um, I apologize if you can hear that, and it's obnoxious. I will sort through that as best as I can, but in this kind of heat especially, we've got to have some fan going, some air moving. With that said, on days like this, we don't like to dilly-dally, sit around for too long and waste any time being out here because the longer we're out here, the more we're going to sweat, the hotter we're going to get, and the more we're going to exhaust ourselves. It's certainly bearable with the fan on, but especially once we start working out, we want to be as quick and efficient as possible and pushing ourselves as hard as we possibly can but also not overdoing it. It's not like we're in direct sunlight or direct heat where you know we've really got to worry about how long we're sitting out in that, but just that heat alone will really sap the energy out of us. We're gonna make quick and efficient work out of today's pool workout because as you can see from the workout itself, not changing a ton of stuff overall with regards to what we're doing. We're gonna be starting with those wide grip pull-ups. We're gonna be doing our chest supported rows and we're gonna be doing the other exercises associated with our back and bicep day. However, today I am throwing in some cable hammer curls. I've been wanting to do those now for just a couple days. They've been on my mind for some reason. So rather than doing our uh, single arm bicep curls, we're gonna be doing those cable hammer curls effectively going to be targeting the exact same muscle group, but hammer curls are going to be different than a normal cable curl. And that a cable curl is really just going to target the bicep as a whole, right? We're going to be targeting that short head right here of the bicep, really the peak of that bicep, but also parts of the long head of the bicep as well. A hammer curl is still going to target those muscles, but it's primarily going to be working the brachialis, which is going to be that thickness of the bicep, the outside of that bicep. And if you flex your arm and bring it in like this, I find you can usually feel it pretty well. There's a little bit of a muscle right here that you're gonna be able to feel, and that's gonna be your brachialis. So it's gonna change slightly how we overall work the bicep as a, as a whole, but we're also gonna be working our forearm strength as well while we're doing those. Alrighty, like I said, that's enough dilly dallying. Let's get right up into this workout. Let's get our shoulders and back stretched out and warmed up, and let's get on over here for some wide grip pull-ups. I'll see you there. Been struggling a bit lately. There's been a lot of uh, doubt and negative thoughts, I guess, just in general, going through my mind as of late. It's made it hard to do some stuff. It's made it hard to even get out here to work out, honestly. Uh, yesterday was certainly one of those days. I had an arm day I did not film, and it was good. It was actually a really good workout, but I, man, I really fought to get out here yesterday, to just get into this gym and do some kind of lift, something. I knew that even if I did half of what I had planned on doing for an arm day, that it would be something, and it would be good. I would feel good about it. But I fought for it, and I fought, honestly, the rest of the day to feel like these tough, 
and trying times that I'm currently going through are going to end at some point, are gonna produce something worthwhile, something positive eventually, that the grass will eventually be greener, that the rain will eventually subside, and it will have a nice bright and shiny day. It's really hard to remember that after those storms, after these trying times, there is gonna be some good. There is gonna be a period of happiness, of content, and of fulfillment. And that can be even just as small of a time period as the workout in front of us that we need to overcome before we can enjoy the rest of our day. Or it could be weeks, months long. It really can. We've talked about that before, how even during periods of strife, good will come, but that we also have to remember that the bad is part of the equation. Those hard times, those tough times, those unhappy times. And so we have to not only remember that the trying times we're going through are all part of this life, right? Life has suffering built into it. That's what makes it life. But that the good times also won't last forever too. And while we can't sit around bracing ourselves, anticipating those all the time, that's just gonna lead to a life of anxiety, of burden, of discontent, of anxiousness. We can't sit around anticipating that all the time, but we can at least prepare ourselves to be ready to accept it when it does come, when it does come our way, and have the tools and resources set up for ourselves to make sure that we can adequately deal with and move through that period of time, again, whether it takes a day, a month, or a year, and that we can, to some degree, prosper in that time as well, grow and learn from that experience, and apply it to all of our future dealings. All right now, though, let's pull up some of our future dealings. Let's do this last set here. I know I'm guilty of it. Sometimes just getting so caught up in that current moment, I feel like whatever trying time I'm going through is not gonna end, but it will end. It won't last forever. That is almost guaranteed to be the truth. Sure, there are times that are a little bit more permanent. That's not what we're dealing with in the moment. We've just gotta be patient sometimes persistent other times and we'll get there now I say all this right now not for the sympathy not for the woe is me party I say this because one of the most common comments we get here on the channel is people come in and saying this is awesome thank you for the motivation thank you for the inspiration thank you for showing me what's possible but I struggle to be consistent, to get into the gym, to actually execute on the thing that I've told myself I wanna do, to exercise. I get that so much, I do, I understand it, we all do. There is not a single person, no matter how big, no matter how strong, that doesn't suffer from that. It is not easy to get out here every day. Life hits us hard and tries to distract us from what we know is good for us, it tries to tell us that that thing that we know is good for us isn't gonna help isn't gonna make us better, isn't gonna help deliver us some semblance of peace, some semblance of happiness, even during the times that are really tough, are really hard, and make you wanna break down on a nearly daily basis. Our mind plays that trick on us, and we start to listen to it, we start to convince ourselves that it's right. No, 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 that's not gonna help, that's not gonna make things any better. Going to the gym's not gonna help me. I'm just gonna keep feeling sad for myself, wallowing in my pity, and being mad frustrated, angry, sad, depressed. And ultimately what happens is we do end up in a depression. And that's not a good place to be, the hard hole to dig ourselves out of. Here's the amazing part though. If we don't give up on ourselves, keep going with that routine, if we keep doing the things that we know are gonna serve us, all for the better, well, in the long run, it is better. Sometimes we just need that person to push us though. Sometimes it can't be us. Sometimes we need a friend or a family member, a colleague, that random guy you play Xbox or PlayStation or PC games with every other month. You know, those people that you really trust. Sometimes you just need that person to remind us that you can do this. 
You've shown me you can do this. You've shown yourself you can do this. And you've shown me and yourself that that is the thing you need to be doing. That you need to be exercising, that you need to be working out because it's good for you. And if it's good for you, then it's good for me and everybody around you. So not doing it, it's not an option. It can't be. Because everybody, including yourself, needs the best version of you. That is not saying that we need 100% every day. But in order to get as close as possible to 100%, we need to be doing our self-care routines. We need to be putting in the time and effort and energy to grow ourselves, our mind, and our body, and making sure that we're progressing in some way, learning from what's happening. Again, this is all so easy to forget in the moment. It's so easy to forget how good this can be for us and how much we rely on this. And like I told you earlier, it's not easy to do every day. You don't want to do it. You don't want to get out here. Even when you know it's the right thing to do, your mind is telling you this is the right thing to be doing and you need to be doing this. You have to do this for your own sake. It is not easy. It's not a want to be out here every single day. For me, this has become such a habit and such a routine that it is a want. It is something that I want to be doing every single day. And yet still on some days, I have to drag myself out here. I have to literally push myself every inch from my bed to the kitchen to the gym outside. It is not easy. Don't think it is. But from the things that challenge us the most, the greatest growth will occur. I know that to be true. So if we can push ourselves, we can figure out a way to get ourselves out of that door and into that gym, whether that's a short drive away or you're fortunate like me for it to be 20 steps out your back door, getting there can sometimes be just half the battle. And if you can do it, I know you know this, you're gonna be better off for it in the long run. You're gonna be happier, you're gonna be pleased with yourself. And even if, even if you only do 50% of the workout, 25% of the workout, that's something to be proud of. Tomorrow's you will be happy that you were able to do that. And they're gonna be proud of you. I'm proud of you. I really am. This is tough. This is not easy. If it was, everybody would do it. And I want everybody to do it. I want everybody to do it so that one day I can stop saying that the average person doesn't do this. And that's what makes you great. I wanna to have to find something else to say. But for now, this is not what the average person does. And that is a part of what makes you great. Keep pursuing that, don't give up. Keep chasing it down, keep bettering yourself. It will come slowly but surely. And we're never truly done, but I can promise you that in a short amount of time, you're gonna be in a really good spot. And in a long time, you're gonna be in disbelief how good it is, how happy you are and how proud of yourself you are that you started this habit and this routine that long ago. Sometimes we all need help, and we don't have anybody around us to give us that help. If that happens to you sometimes, scan that QR code right there. Reach out, let's talk. Let's set up some time for some fitness, nutrition, or life coaching to help get you back on track towards the goal that you're trying to chase down. Getting done what it is you wanna get done with the accountability and the goals that you might need set up for you along the way. Won't cost you anything, just a quick 20 to 30 minute call. We'll find a time to align our schedules and see if it's something that we can make work and if it's a partnership that we should engage in to make sure that you, again, can chase down the goals, dreams, and ambitions that you have for yourself. We can't do everything alone. I've told you that numerous times. And if I can be that person that can help coach you through these things, help you achieve what it is you've set out for yourself, want to achieve for yourself, or are dreaming, of achieving for yourself. Let's see if it's something that I can help you with. Make sure that you get the proper goals set out in front of you and have the accountability and the motivation and the one-on-one -on -one coaching and inspiration that you need to be successful. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks again. All right, you saw me try that with just my uh, single handle there. This was just slipping off, it was too big. And the ridges on that are too deep for this 
uh, grip to get a, honestly, a, a good enough sticking point. Obviously, if I grip it tighter, it's gonna stick, but when it's on top of that single arm attachment, this is, you know, well over two inches wide, and that's really challenging my grip. Now, loved the pull-ups feeling there in my forearm and my brachialis, but um, I think I'd like it to be a little bit more stable. So this is just a one inch pin for uh, standard plates. And as you can see, when I grip this, if I pull pretty hard, it's not moving anywhere. So in theory, this should be a nice, good alternative to using the, uh, the single handle there. And we should be able to still get in the work that we're looking for without this slipping off. And then additionally, it's got the stopper at the top so that if it does slip, it's not gonna go anywhere. Let's see what happens. <sighs> Oh, it's good. Honestly, it's a little too much even. It's only 30 pounds, but a little too much there. We're gonna reduce it down and make sure we can get full range of motion in these curls. Let's do it left side. That's better. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so good. That is perfect. Absolutely love that. We're gonna be sticking with that for a minute. All right, y'all. We got some uh, ab work still to do here. Left this set up just for that. So we're gonna crank out some cable crunches and go on and get out of here. It's been a good workout. It's good seeing you. Thanks for showing up, thanks for being here. Like I told you earlier, it wasn't easy for me to show up yesterday. Today wasn't all that easy either, but it was certainly better than yesterday. Let that serve as a reminder that day to day things can change for better or worse, in small bits or in large. But day to day, things can certainly get better. Keep the mindset positive, keep trucking forward. Do not give in to the temptation of just taking it easy, of just giving up, of relaxing. There are time and places for that, and our mind and body need to be able to rest and recover from time to time. But we cannot just throw in the towel because we're feeling down, because we feel like we can't, because we're feeling sad for ourselves. We can't stop doing the things that we know will make us better, know will make us happier, more fulfilled, more complete, we just put in the small amount of time required to achieve those. Yes, it requires effort. Yes, of course, it requires energy. And most importantly, perhaps it requires a little bit of time. But we can make those sacrifices. We can do that. We can better ourselves. And we can end up in a better spot for ourselves and for our friends and family around us. Don't give in to the temptation not to do anything. Oftentimes, that will lead to us just deteriorating further and not actually getting any better. But you know your body best. You know your mind best. Do what it needs in the moment and make sure that you've got a plan for what it's gonna need when that moment is over. Thanks again for being here, everybody. I'll see you all next time. Be well.